Yes, you. Welcome to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast, a podcast for people who want to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. I'm your host, Jen Glantz, and every week I'll drop a new episode with stories from real people just like you who woke up one morning and decided to make big changes, starting with small things. We'll cover topics like entrepreneurship, love, failure, and self-care. Hey, you're not getting any younger, so let's make this an adventure. Ready? Today's episode is brought to you by Jen and Juice Coaching by yours truly. For the past five years, I've worked with over 100 people to help them feel, well, less stuck. Whether you're looking to change careers, start a side hustle, or just get a strategy for your life, head on over to jenglance.com coaching and you can find out about my one hour coaching specials that will help you feel like you can finally cross those things off your to-do list and start whatever kind of project, life change, or dream that you have. Hey, hey, any youngers, it's me, your host, Jen Glanz, back with another episode of the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. I am so excited to be here with you today, welcoming you to the final month of 2020. Hello, December. It's cold. I've always liked December because it's a month that goes by really fast, and I feel like by the end of the year, especially this year, we're all really begging for that finish line. But I've also feared the month of December. I've also been stressed by the month of December. And I always feel a little down in the month of December. And that's usually because while it is the final month of the year, I always find myself feeling like a giant failure because I look at my goals and my dreams and my wishes that I made the previous December for the year that I'm in right now and how I didn't quite live up to those expectations, how I still have such a gigantic to-do list of things that I haven't even touched. I feel like the month of December is the month that shows me looking into the mirror of my life, wishing that I spent time differently, wishing that I did more. It's definitely a month where I take inventory on my life and I do find myself filled with gigantic regrets. We have less than 30 days left of the year. You're not getting any younger, but maybe you also didn't do any of the goals that you had set for yourself this year. But I'm sitting here thinking about how we only have a couple of weeks left, which is plenty of time to get something really big done for yourself. So this episode is short and sweet, and it's challenging you to think about one, 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 one single thing that you can do for yourself between now and the end of the year. Maybe it's finally emailing those people you've been trying to email all year, but you were scared to do. Maybe it is reading that one book you've been trying to get through and you finish it finally. Maybe it is even thinking of a workout plan and implementing it now so that at the start of next year, you're already hitting those new New Year's resolutions. Maybe it's saying sorry or I love you to a person you've been putting off doing that. Maybe it's paying off a little bit more debt rather than buying a ton of gifts for the holiday season. Maybe it's that you finally decide and stick to that one side hustle, that one blog, that one podcast idea that you've been tossing and turning in your head, what, my friend, is one thing that you can do for yourself in the final weeks of this year. You know, we always start a new year feeling fresh and clean and ready to tackle all of these things that we did not even do the year before. I don't know what 2021 is going to look like. I can't predict the future, but I can say what better thing to do for yourself than to start something awesome and big for you right now. So I'm ending this episode early. I'm giving you some time right now to think about what that one thing is that you're going to do in the next few weeks for you. Make it attainable. Make yourself accountable and get it done. I'm cheering you on. All my love, Jen Glantz. Hey you, thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review that You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen too. Oh, And join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group, where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives, for good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glantz.